going to be one of either two or three videos because why not pump out a million videos at the same time? <laughs> right now, we are headed to a new Halloween store. Uh, do you remember what it was called? Spirit Halloween. No, not Spirit Halloween because oh. it was in the South End. Oh, Halloween Alley. And the only reason I even knew to look that up when I couldn't find Spirit Halloween was because I watched Jakota's new video where they went and found uh, some supplies for a photo shoot uh, and that piqued my curiosity what giant building had Halloween Alley in it. So thanks Jakota if you watch this. <laughs> I'm just glad you guys didn't witness my driving. I went a weird way but da -da 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 we found it through the rain jobs. Wait a minute, who's here with us? Who are you gonna call? Let's see. <laughs> I can't believe I did. Oh, hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, it's like Mom and Abigail. <laughs> oh, this is quite a lot of stuff to see. Steven stopped feeling well today. He said, Mom, get me something funny or inappropriate. So look at this. Should I get a hat? Well, we got some stuff. So, whew, now off to the store, the new store. I guess I can just call it the store now since we don't have a store in the old location anymore. So, we're getting ready for grand opening, but Alexander had to drop the ambulance off there. So, I feel like I know a guy that needs a ride home. Well, look at who I found. I made him walk a bit. <laughs> the other day, Alexander had bought, uh, he went to an estate to buy some things for the store. And in it, hold on, let me just show you, were some old cookbooks from the 30s. So I thought I would show you. And also, I've kind of taken a peek at some of this. This I thought was really cool. They're old decals. Yeah, these are super cool actually. But it has uh, your horoscope, lucky days, birthstone, and flowers. Best home remedies. That's pretty cool. I'll do April, because my birthday is in April. Sorry for you guys. We're not in April. It has if you're a man or a woman of the period. I gotta try to read it and aim for you guys to see it. And I shake. A woman born at this period will be brave and determined of disposition, industrious, will not be driven, fond of her home and husband, indulgent to her children, a sincere friend and liberal with the poor. Her married life will be happy. Yay! November and April are the most promising months and Saturday is your lucky day. The flower is jonquil and diamond, the April stone. Oh darn, if I have to have diamonds. But look, there's like Davis menthol rub. For sore throat, apply painkiller. <laughs> painkiller. Oh, it's like a, oh, I see. Is that who this is by? Davis and Lawrence Company, Montreal. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So anyways, there's a whole bunch of clippings and stuff, but the one that I found really interesting is this one, our diamond notebook, because it has a whole bunch of handwritten recipes in here. So I thought it would be fun to try and see one of these recipes. I picked out the op applesauce cake because that sounded like something I can serve right away for Thanksgiving. And it looks pretty uh, easy. Oh, the only thing is, is it's written very small small and in cursive. Two and a half cups of flour, salt, soda, baking powder. Oh, 
I don't even know what that is. I uh, it looks like something cloves, mignoli. Well, we'll have to figure that out. Cinnamon, butter, sugar, chopped walnuts, raisins, currants, unsweetened applesauce, chewy. Consistency consistency of thick sour milk. Ooh, that's. Well, it does put an image in my head. Sift all the dry ingredients, including the sugar, three times. Oh, it's gonna be really sifted. Add raisins, currants, nuts, butter, and well-beaten egg. Stir in applesauce last. Bake about one hour in a loaf pan near low flame of oil store. Can't say oil store. Oh, there's like a tiniest note of all time. Maybe I might take take a picture of that and enlarge it for my little eyes. So off to the grocery store so we can try this out. <laughs> to the store, a few other things that I found in the bag. Magic cookbook. Some little clippings. My family votes Kellogg cornflakes for flavor and I know they give the extra energy hard workers need. So let's see what this, oh my goodness. You have only to compare. Finley Coal and Wood Range. That's pretty cool. When is this from? At least this one will have the date on top. August 21st. This one's from 1940. Oh, it smells old. <laughs> Fall hat. Skin you full, but not dizzy. That's funny. Salvage campaign wins. Helps to win the war. Teacher needs home life. That's kind of cool. Their ads and everything too. Never a failure. Miracle yeast. What I wouldn't be. Oh, let's see the other side. Iced tea and buffet supper parties. They have like an example of how it should all be set up. Oh, pickling syrup. More pickles though, I'm guessing. There's a lot of pickle recipes, so I'm guessing that's why she kept this. There's iced tea, juice of four lemons. One gallon container, two cups of sugar, and tea. That sounds easy enough. That's pretty cool. The Quaker Oats guy still looks, I mean, it looks pretty similar. Yeah, it all looks pretty similar. Chicken Hatties. I don't even know what a chicken Hattie is. I'm gonna find out after this. All fish, no waste. What? Why is it called Chicken Hatties if it's fish? Who knows? That would be very disappointing for me. Um, this is happening. Well, what's happening here, Abigail? Um, I just got my Halloween costume, so I wanted to try it on. We're gonna smooth the wig out, but you got it smoothed out pretty good, actually, already. It has little braids and everything in it. What are you going as? Um, an Egyptian zombie, but I just, I, I don't look like it now because none of my face. Well, try to do your best zombie face. Let's see it. Uh, pretty good. I'm not sure how they pay with that. Twenty-five. The magic cookbook. Look, she's like revealing it like it's magic. What up, presto! Oh, I just ripped it a little. Man, this is pretty cool, actually. I, you know what? It's funny. I always look for the ones that are the most used looking, and then I try to figure out what they probably made off of that page. The more used, usually the better the recipe. Usually. Sometimes it just means they were sloppy. The Presto Fry Pan. I'm pretty sure a lot of people still have this. I think my, my mom has something similar anyways. Instructions and recipes. This one's from a blender. Menus. We have, oh, there's one in here that I see. Oh, cooking Canada's turkey. This could come in handy. I am going, I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow and I have to brine my turkey, so. Books for a cook. Donuts. Donuts. This one, oh, you know what? I didn't realize. This one also, there's a lot in there. Hey, Mom. We ha we've had this one before. We've had this one before, the Five Roses cookbook. But what I didn't realize is that there's also clippings and stuff that she took out in here as well. I'm gonna take a look and then see what I can I can find for you guys. So you're not just looking at me going through a bunch of papers. Wait, let's reveal this together. Oh my goodness. 
Lipton in chicken noodle soup. That's quite the ad. That's a big ad for, for Lipton. Taste fresher. Crab and avocado halves. That doesn't sound good to me because I'm not a seafood fan, but chicken and fruit salad, as long as they don't mean chicken of the sea. Teething troubles. The finest in cheese, Wisconsin cheese man. Okay, I'm gonna take a look and see, see what I can find in here. This ad says, if your husband says, vegetables bore me, intrigue him with these new bird's eye gourmet vegetables, fluffy rice, green peas, succulent mushrooms, and Solux seasoning. Exciting? Very. <laughs> what? I feel like if I still showed Alexander this, he'd be like, what is this? Rice and peas and mushrooms. I wonder if it's all in the box? I don't know. I feel like that would be interesting. But... This, like this probably is delicious, but like in old recipe books, when you look and you're like, I don't know, it does not look appealing. It just kind of looks not so great, but that is delicious. So I was looking that they have like extra rays, not x rays, exercises like ballet exercises. And then on the other side, it has a bra advertisement, but the best is that it says, Here are inspired. New bra creations that help you discover all the exciting possibilities of your figure. I mean, that doesn't look comfortable at all. You would have abnormally pointy, you know, it's I'm glad they've come a long way. <laughs> so this is interesting. I wanted to discover this with you guys. I can hear that they still come in there. That's actually really cool. There's seeds selected for the West. Alberta Seed House. There's some radishes. Hold on, let me dump them all out. And, I don't know what that is. Ooh, it's something. I'm gonna look it up after, 1941. Uh, does it say Clematis? Cl Clematis, something. That's pretty cool. So of course we need to see if these still grow. So that's gonna happen for a future video. That would be pretty cool if they shouldn't grow. Like, it has been a long time. They're, they're probably not any good anymore. Eaton's of Canada, they got this one from. That's pretty cool. And then some recipes again. This one says delicious gingerbread. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to read some of them because the M's are written like W's. So I think that usually European. Uh, who knows who all does that, but I know that some of my relatives most definitely, oh, this is nice lettering. They write their M's upside down. Not sure why. And half the fun is trying to read it. I'm pretty sure this says Christmas pudding, but it's because my brain is helping me uh, figure out what the word is. Like, see, look, there's the M upside down. Yeah, it must be Christmas pudding. This one's at least pretty dark. The other thing is trying to figure out, um, the measurements seem pretty um, pretty similar, but a lot of them will say like, put over a low flame in a slow stove. So I'm gonna have to try to figure that out. The applesauce cake looks like, it says to put it in a loaf pan. So um, it does say to bake about one hour in a loaf pan. I think it says near low flame of something oil stove maybe it says oil stove so i'm gonna end up cooking it like i do for banana bread and cross my fingers it says about an hour so we'll see if that that works and if not we'll have at least a video <laughs> you'll see either something really delicious or something raw or burnt or maybe both i don't know we're gonna have to find out we're back at the grocery store because I love the grocery store so much. We came like every day this week. I even had a list yesterday. I just missed like quite a few things on the list, but now we also have the apple cake. The apple, what was it called? Applesauce cake that we're gonna be making. So it's worth the trip. Plus I am here so much that they have kind of become a little bit like family. <laughs> Thank you.
first check out this crazy hair. Yeah, that happens in the rain. <laughs> it's in the rain. I'm gonna call that the big bird do. You know, when his feathers are just sticking up in the middle. At least it's volume. I mean, <laughs> so I feel actually pretty bad. I did the grocery shopping and we're making an effort to be more environmentally conscious of the decisions that we make that affect our environment and our, our world. And I was already up there and of course, with it being Thanksgiving, uh, it's a long lineup and I forgot uh, the reusable bags in the car. So now I have four plastic bags. I should, I know it's just plastic bags, but we really are trying to make an effort. I just didn't want, I would have normally just gone and gotten them, but there was a big long lineup and I didn't want to inconvenience everybody either. Here's the problem. Let me show you my brain. <laughs> I thought I, I'm going to put the reusable bags in the front seat. Yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So that I will see them before going into the store. But I also have this. Um, we're doing our fire unit. So I grabbed this from my school on the way. Uh, so no, didn't see them at all. Just left them in here. I mean, I guess it's good that it's affecting me because before I would have just thought nothing of it. I uh, got the groceries and at least I'm trying, I, I notice it right away when that kind of decision has to be made now. At least it's become aware, but at the same time, I have plastic bags in the back. Ugh. Good morning, everyone. The cake didn't get made yesterday. We ended up having company and things happening. So today is actually our, what is it? Thanksgiving. So we're celebrating Thanksgiving today. So we actually have a lot to cook, but I wanted to make sure to get the applesauce cake done first because first I promised a video and I also think it would make uh, a good cake to either put in the fridge or freezer, save for later, right? Or we could serve it to guests later on today, but we have a lot to cook. So who's gonna help me today? Oh, uh, me, I am. Yep, Abigail's gonna be my helper. So first off, I'll show you what we're up to. So I wrote down the applesauce cake recipe as best as I could. I have no clue what the word was before cloves in the actual recipe. And I wrote out the instructions. I'm going to make it like at 350 for about an hour, but I'm gonna check it, which is what you usually do for um, banana bread. So I'm hoping that ends up working. First uh, problem, well, it's not the worst problem. I have a coffee. Uh, grinder so I used that we'll see how big of a mistake that might have been but I only had whole cloves which I keep in a pill bottle yep and it ground it pretty fine I'm gonna take out any big chunks because the last thing you want to do is it smells good uh, I mean it smells like cloves but yeah we'll see we'll see how this goes so we're gonna start with our dry <clears throat> well the <clears throat> the ones that need to be sifted a million times. Uh, flour, salt, cinnamon, cloves, baking soda, baking powder. I have the sugar in here. I just put a wax wrap on it so that, you know, we don't have flies. So we're gonna get started doing the sifting. And I just happened to have one of these old sifters. So that's happening. Are you excited? Secret news is happening. Do you feel like this is going to be a long process? <laughs> you can get the other sifter if you want. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. We're not done yet. So it was, we have two and a half cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, which I forgot to film on camera. Where did I put the measuring spoons? Oh, here. A teaspoon of soda. I just pour some soda into a container because I clean with it anyway, so it's not gonna go to waste so that it's easier to scoop it out. I said that, I didn't put enough in. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Okay, a teaspoon of, and then a teaspoon of baking powder. 
This is easier. <laughs> but try to keep it in the bowl. That is from I mean this. Yeah, that's from falling. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the baking powder. The cloves. Well, that'll keep all the really big pieces from going through anyways. Okay, shake that up as much as you can. You can try to grate it against the... I feel like we didn't grind it enough. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Stuff is coming out. One. Cloves is a very strong spice anyway, so if we don't have as much. Okay, so that's all the dry ingredients, and we have to sift it three times. So prepare to put this on high speed. Yeah. <laughs> You did the taste test. They were good. It tasted kind of like um, noodles. Yeah. Sagna? I think so. Okay, so you can dump. Uh, should I take these? Apart? Yeah, no, you can, yeah, maybe just take. break it apart. And then you can put it all into that bowl. To the sifting. It's like it's snowing. Mm. Put a bigger bat bowl. Oh. Or is that good? This is fine. It's getting mixed. While she's doing that, it says we also need uh, butter and well beaten eggs. So I need a half a cup of butter melted and a well beaten egg. So I'm gonna go and melt some butter. the melted butter first and try to cool it down a little bit because we don't want the egg to scramble in here. Okay, let's give you some room to actually work because then you're not leaning over and getting your dress dirty. Okay, ready? Yep, pour it in and then stir it up. Stir it in the baby. Yeah. Okay, that works. Oh, well, there's a chocolate there's butter in there. A, yeah. That's okay, just stir it in. I should have stirred it before we started. Yep. Yeah. You should have. Ah. Then at the very end, we add one and a half cups of unsweetened applesauce. So I'm gonna get that ready as well. You ready? Yep. Still pretty solid looking. Mm -hmm. It's not coming together like a dough or anything. Mm -hmm. 
laughing. It kind of looks like chocolate chips. Kind of. You will be disappointed if you're expecting chocolate chips. Mm-hmm. It's like a... Mmm. It's just oh. applesauce. It smells delicious. It just smells like apples. Don't you like apples? I do. Yeah. I'm just going to stir it because it's really hard to stir. Okay. I don't want to get it all out of the bowl. Well, I'm not worried about that. It's just really tough. It looks tough. Well, now at least it's starting to form a real dough. Yeah, it smells apple-y. Like, what do you think it smells like? I can't really smell. It smells like, I can smell the apples the most right now. Because you just have it in your mouth. Probably. Yeah. Oh, that's close. Your hand is like. Just put it in the loaf pan now. Clean my space off. We have like problems. Look happening. at this. Showed the mess, Abigail. I showed the mess more than once now. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> Keeping it real. Yeah, this will fit, I think, right? Yeah. I hope. It will. Look. Yeah, but what if it grows? No, it's not. It might a little bit because there's baking. Only a little bit. Yeah, it's not going to go crazy. It won't go if it does, that'll be part of the experience. Yeah. Stop. Just wait. Okay, just wait. It kind of looks like um, banana bread. But oh my goodness, 350. Woo, that's warm. That is warm. For one hour. After all that, I don't want a bunch of burntness. So next, we're gonna get onto all of our Thanksgiving baking and we'll come back on once uh, that comes out. Doing that. <laughs> One more hour. I am cutting it close. We slept in today and it's already noon. It just turned noon right now, which has me a little panicked because I still have two pumpkin pies to bake and a turkey. So, we yeah. Got this. Oh, that's going to cut it really close, but. <laughs> do, do, do. Okay, now I'm gonna check and see if it is cooked. Okay, baby, can you film? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get the stuff off of the top of the stove. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. It's so happy that the cake might be done. I'm just gonna, it doesn't feel done. But we also took it out 15 minutes early. It raised. I hope it's not gonna drop now that I took it out. Let me just grab. Skewer. Oh, I can see it falling already. Oh, it's raw in the middle. It smells good. Okay, so we're gonna give it another. Sorry, song. There's only so many times I can hear you. Did you? Da, 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 da. We got cracking on the top. That's promising. Hold on, I'm gonna try to do this without. Uh oh. Pretty clean. It's hard to tell because it's a fruit. I don't oh, know. On the end, it's still. I might give it a little bit longer. Ooh. So what's in that? So it looks like it's cooked all the way through. You can see the walnuts and the currants and the raisins. Looks pretty good. It looks really good. <laughs> I might have to break my diet for a piece of that. Okay, I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut a taste piece for everyone. Ooh, steam shot. Mm -hmm. Smells like raisins. Hot. <laughs> What's fresh out of the oven? <laughs> Is that a little uh was it other than burning your tongue off? I was good. <laughs> I hurt, but it's good. What about you? What do you think? I think it's it's okay. It's very plain kind of tasting, even though there's a lot of stuff in there. Could it, be my lack of cloves. Plain? This is from an era when people only had the radio to listen to. This was probably like excitement. This was like riding on a roller coaster for your mouth. 
everyone else said they really like it. I mean, I like it too. It's very, it has a good taste. Like it has like the, like you imagine, hot raisins and currants and walnuts. Mm-hmm. You can taste the cinnamon. It's a, uh, I mean, it's not, would you say it's sweet? No, it's really good. It's like perfect. Mm -hmm. Cooked really good. You know what though? Um, so it almost took two hours to cook. It cooked for uh, about an hour and a half before it was completely done at 350. So, <laughs> but it was worth it. Everything it seems. So good, you could sell that stuff. Alexander just said it was so good that I could sell that stuff. So there's that. <laughs> was wrong. They, Alexander's back for more. It's really good, and I don't care. It's Thanksgiving. I'm cheating today. It's possibly the best type of. It's almost like a banana bread consistency. I don't know. It's good. Whatever it is, they knew what they were doing 100 years ago. It, wasn't, it was from the 30s. Well, I'm sure it wasn't a new recipe when they made it. No. Yeah, I'm gonna cut up a piece for everybody. Okay, but not like that big for everybody.